Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Hu, and today I'm going to teach you how to create an Azure function to interact with SQL Server, in this case the SQL database. If you missed my last video, the link is above, and you'll see how to create an Azure function with Logic Apps. In this video, I'm going to focus only on SQL Server side, and also I'm going to change the Logic App to do an insert on a database. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to see more upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Okay, so now the first thing that we're going to do is actually go to the portal and create a SQL Server and then create a database. Since I'm going to reuse some of the code that I've done in the previous video, don't forget to check that first. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is actually to create a server, a SQL Server here. I'm going to use demo as is I'm I'm going to use here uh, the database needs to be unique doesn't exist nice uh, north of Europe what's that Europe and mean and passwords Okay, so let's review and key create. So this is the first thing that you're going to do, it's actually to create a server. This may take a while, we'll be right back. So now we have the resource created, let's go and let's get one thing first, which is copying the server name. It's going to be important for us for, to do the connection later on. And let's create a database. Okay, here and the database we're going to call videos. Do you want the uh, last equal no? And here we can change this. Let's go for the for this. We can pick the the smallest one. Apply and create and create. Once again, this may take a while. So now since we have our resource ready, so there are two ways to access the database. One, it's via the SQL Server Management Studio or the browser. In this case, we're going to do uh, both for you guys to see. So first of all, we need to do one thing. We just set up the database we need now to give access to our machine and we're going to set up a firewall. And we just need to click here where it says add the client IP. So now he automatically had my IP address to the database. And now we're going to hit save. And now it's saving the access rule. And now we can go to the management studio. The management studio, I just need to drop here the URL, which already was there. And let's click connect. And here we have my my server and my database created. So now I can go here, tables, I didn't create any table. There's two ways to create a table. So I can create a table via by this way. But I, I'm going to do now on the portal sites because that's what matters. So let's go back. And we're going to have here the query editor. Just put here the passwords. So now we're going to create the table. Just copy paste here my my query and create table. Okay, and run. For success, let's see. Let's refresh here. Tables, and we do have here our table and as you can see here we also on a management studio outside of the portal we may we see as well actually what we're going to do now I'm going to edit the rows here and just put some values because after this we're going to kick off the logic app 
with Azure function. So let's create here one say name Google. So of course two and okay. So now let's hit save. Let's get out of here. Let's close this. And now let's do one thing. Actually, we can do another query here. Let's see what's inside of that database. Select from. So he has IntelliSense, so he'll get all the tables that you want to query and to autocomplete, let's say. And here are the values that I've just inserted on the management studio. So very well, so we finished this piece now uh, to create a database and to create some records inside of it. And now we're going to call our uh, Azure function with the logic app. So let's go for the logic app. Let's go back here to all the resources. Let's go first check. I'm going to check here my logic app. That's going to call my daughter function. Okay, so ID3, Siri Griffin, that's fine. And let's go back to all the resources. Let's go back here and we now we're going to change this. So to simplify this, what we're going to do is actually to create a new, here a new step. I could create a new function, but I want to use, reuse what we've built on the previous. And I'm going to insert a new row, SQL Server, so SQL Server, sign in, and we are signing in. So now nothing happens. So one of the things that we need to do is actually I need to go back to my database because I forgot to do one thing and we now go into the database again. So we need to go to set server firewall and here we need to allow Azure services to access this server. So now it's done. Let's go back and now we're going to put copy paste here the server name. Sometimes you're going to have issues connecting to the SQL server. So in this case, what you need to do is go to your resources, all the resources, let's refresh this. And you're going to see here your SQL server connections. Click on it. You need to go to edit API connection, Azure integration, and here we need to authorize this uh, server. So we need to hit save and authorize and he will assume after a while. Sometimes you need to wait a bit. So after uh, he assumes and the connection is here, he will show on the drop down the amount of connections that you have created, the databases that you have available. Now, as soon as we select YouTube links, what's going to happen is going to show up here the ID and but we need to add more variables the variables which is the name and the URL let's get here URL as well URL URL okay and now here we're going to here to expressions he doesn't find but if we put here something like ID okay let's go look here ID the ID that is being parsed the name and URL that is being parsed on the on my JSON. So now what we're going to do is just hit save, we put run. Okay, and now let's go to the main logic app to call it the recursive logic app to call it. Let's enable this and run trigger. And now we should go to the our logic app, the, the daughter, the daughter logic app. Let's go here. We have a success. Let's see what we have on our variables. And we have a run on the insert. So we put the ID three, Siri Griffin, and now here on the response I didn't put anything. Uh, actually, it's the same thing as the the previous uh, function that I created on the uh, previous video. And now we can do here is go here. 
put my credentials. So now let's see if Stewie is on our table. Go here, select thousand, and here we have. So we have a new Stewie here on our table. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video with integration with the SQL Server. The next one coming up is going to be with Power Apps and Power Platform. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. And uh, any questions that you have, please leave a comment. And once again, thank you. Cheers.